Hey guys, welcome back. And if you are new here, I am Riza, and this is your channel for a productive and sustainable lifestyle. A few weeks ago, I got the chance to meet up with zero waste advocates here in the Philippines, and sobrang saya na mamit sila kasi um, na connect kami kagad, kahit first time lang namin magkita, and it was very refreshing. Good morning, guys. I am currently on my way to Makati right now to meet up with Phoebe and Jamie Kate. And I'm really excited about this because at the beginning of the year, I listed 10 things I need to do for 2019. It's in my bucket list. And one of the things I needed to do was to meet up with like minded people. So we laughed and talked about all the zero waste struggles that I encounter namin every single day. And ito yung sa kanila. So hi guys, my name is Jamie Kate and I am striving to live a zero waste lifestyle. I've been doing it for three years and my main struggle with living zero waste is that I work as a nurse and medical waste is one of the problems that I have that I cannot compromise. So for me, that's a, that's a big struggle but at the same time, I don't want to compromise the health of my patients. So it's all about balance and striving to live a more sustainable lifestyle. Who are you? Hello guys, so I'm Jeff and I'm an internal auditor. Uh, Siguri sa mga zero waste struggle ko is because I really love milk teas, so I discovered different different uh, brands of milk teas and want to try them all. Commonly, the struggle ko is yung madalas nakakalimutan ko yung mga reusable containers ko. Pero to overcome that struggle, if I'm planning ahead, I always bring my milk tea container with me wherever I go, whenever. I go. So I always bring this container with me so that I will be always prepared kapag kailangan na crave ako ng milk. So yun lang. Milk is life talaga. Milk is life. <laughs> Hi! So I'm Phoebe from Mean Living PH and this January I did this trash jar challenge and I realized that most of my trash were chocolate. Now I prepare my own snacks and that's usually like granolas and oatmeal but then eventually I get tired of it. So this next few months that's one of my main goals is to really find different ways to be creative in making my own snacks and just really being prepared because preparation is always the key and I can't let go of my sweet tooth so you know I'll just compensate with looking for more options so that's the goal. Hi everyone, my name is Ina and I'm 21 years old. I'm still a student but it's only been a month since I'm still learning about zero waste life. Definitely the struggle I mostly face is how to accept the trash that I can control. And the way I try to um, deal with that is that I have to understand that living a completely zero waste life is impossible. Like nobody should be expected to do that. But then what I tell myself is the goal that for me to find ways to lessen my own waste. So that's all. I'm also personally trying to do zero waste since December 2017. Pero syempre, mga bagay na I can't say no to. It's also a little extra complicated for me since I run businesses. So for example, yung sa Cat Cafe, yung sa Lekat, and then yung sa shipment packaging ng Lana and Wim. Well, it's really hard to go completely zero waste and that's perfectly fine. Ang importante is nagtatry and nag effort kayo. Ako naman personally, ito yung mga struggles ko. Number one is forgetting my milk tea straw. There was a time na sabrang hilig ko kasi sa milk tea. As in, like right now, pang apat na araw ko nang nagmamakaw imperial milk tea. I'm not so proud. Uh, bamboo straw lang yung na dala ko. And sobrang struggle ng uminom ng pearl. So, <laughs> I'll insert a video here. Zero waste struggles. Ito yung straw na kasama ng tumbler ko. And I can't even sip the pearls. Next is walang bulk store dito sa South. I live here in Las Piñas and yung bulk store na alam ko kung pinakamalapit is Makati pa. Next is when you badly want Dairy Queen pero nakalimutan mo yung cutleries mo sa bahay. Next naman is yung grocery stores dito sa Philippines. I know, yes, pwede naman tayo sa palengke, pero minsan, the convenience gets the way out of us. Struggle bumili ng mga fruits and vegetables kasi lahat nakabalot in plastic. And then, yung last ko naman is business-wise. Um, yung mga shipments, well, actually, 
hopefully, yung mga couriers here in the Philippines would adapt na maging eco-friendly sila and accept yung own packaging. Well, I know Ninja Van does that, pero since yung Lana PH is with Lazada, hindi nila kami ina-allow na mag-ship with our own packaging. So yeah, that's a struggle. We also talked about how overwhelming and intimidating the zero-waste lifestyle is. And sometimes, we tend to get so strict about that. And don't be too hard on yourself kasi mas stress ka lang. Besides, this lifestyle is a journey. Hindi naman in a snap of the finger mangyayari na agad lahat yun. So you just have to do it one step at a time. Enjoy it! So there you go. I hope you enjoy it. And if you want more videos like this, you just have to tap that subscribe button and hit that bell para ma-notify kayo kapag may bagong video. Thank you so much for watching. Let's all save Mama Earth. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye! Thank you so much for gracing the channel.